morning everybody I'm here to talk about media it's one of the decisions that you will have to make once you decided on an image that you really want there's so many different types I've narrowed it down within the website to I, the media that I think works really well and complements my imagery the first one up is a paper this is called luster <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> we'll move on. Anyway, this is Luster. It's economical, it has great color, good definition, good range, light to dark, and produces really nice prints. The second paper that we offer is a satin burrito made by Hanmule. This image here was created using that. This image is one of the limited editions I'm going to offer eventually that I personally print and will sign and I'll have less than 50 copies made total. So that's something for down the road. But that's what a, a fine art paper looks like. The next one up is Canvas. Canvas <clears throat> works really well. It has its own unique feel and look to it. Colors can be a little bit muted, but then again, if that's the style of image that you're looking at, it works really well. It's very durable, doesn't require much maintenance, and is a good choice. The next option is wood, yes wood. We, uh, I was surprised hearing about it about a year ago. I think it creates a really interesting visual background for the right image. For more earth tones and red rock and things like that, which is primarily the bulk of my work, it works really well. And I think really enhances the overall feel to the image. These images are not light on the back. They have mounting systems. It's just a series of slots. So you can position it however you want, depending on what you got, a vertical or a landscape orientation ready to be mounted on the wall next up is metal metal is one of my favorite medias to use there are four or five different styles of metal I choose a mid gloss which doesn't give you the intense glare and sheen that some do while still preserving the intensity, the color, the pop that metal brings to all images. I think this really works well with my style of imagery that I do. They come with simple mounting systems, or you can get more complex ones for heavier images, which I recommend. You start getting out 25, 24 by 36 and bigger, they make a aluminum frame that goes all the way around the back and supports it really well and prevents any sort of warpage. Last but not least is acrylic. Acrylic is just amazing. I was introduced to acrylic about a year and a half ago and I had several of my images done in acrylic and it just adds a whole new dimension. The sense of depth, color, vibrancy, and overall presence is just stellar. There's no other way to describe it. On the back, so again, simple mounting system. This one is just a plastic block with slots cut in it, mount direct to the wall. And the same thing with metal. The bigger the imagery gets, the more sturdy frame you need. They offer it in two different thicknesses, quarter inch, which this one is, an eighth inch. Eighth inch is good. In my opinion, up to 24 by 36. Beyond that, I would recommend a quarter inch thick just to keep it nice and rigid. But for your very favorite and your most prized imagery, this is the way to go. And behind me is a metal image. It's 36 by 36. And this is what it would look like on a wall. 
in a different medium than the acrylic. This on an acrylic would would be totally amazing. But I like I like this metal style. It worked really well. This is, anyway, this is my thoughts on media. If you have any questions about anything, I'm more than willing to help you any way I can. Uh, you can contact me in email. If we need to do a Zoom session to talk about it a little bit further in depth, I'm more than willing to do that. Um, I look forward to hearing from you. Y'all have a great day, and I'll see you soon.